Farrington, why are we sitting so far apart from each other? We're doing something called social distancing. Okay. And why do we have to wear these masks? Our masks? Well, our masks, we wear them to protect each other from germs. Why do we have to do all of these things? We are social distancing and wearing our masks to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. Today, we're going to learn about ways that we can properly protect ourselves from the coronavirus. Mr. B asked a really great question today. He was wondering why we're sitting social distance and we're wearing masks on our face. Well, I'm sure you've heard by now, but we're dealing with the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a virus that can make some people very, very sick. And that's why our world has been changed for a couple of months. Today, we're going to learn about ways that we can help protect ourselves and others from coronavirus. One of the ways that we can protect ourselves from coronavirus is by wearing a mask or a shield. Masks and shields help protect us from germs. One piece of protective equipment is a mask. When Miss Farrington wears her mask, it covers her nose and mouth just like this. You might see kids, adults, teachers, or store workers, or many other people wearing masks. Another piece of protective equipment might be a shield. Shields go on over your face like this, and it's like a clear plastic covering. This is important because it might help someone from getting some kind of fluid or germs in their eyes or from getting their germs into somebody else's eyes or face. Another piece of protective equipment are gloves. You might see people wearing gloves to help protect their hands from germs or to protect other people from getting their germs. Just like this. So I may look a little bit silly or even scary, but you must remember that people are wearing masks, shields, and gloves to help protect themselves and others from the coronavirus. Just remember that underneath all of this, I still have a great big smiling face. Another way that we can help protect ourselves and others from the coronavirus is by doing something called social distancing. Social distancing means to keep extra space, about six feet, away from you and someone else. But just because you're social distancing doesn't mean that you can't have fun with friends. You might have to keep your distance from someone when you go out in public, maybe in a store or in an office, or if you come to school. You usually don't have to keep your distance from those that are in your own family. So you can still go close to your parents and your siblings. Another way that we can protect ourselves and others from coronavirus is by washing our hands and by using hand sanitizers. These will kill germs that might be on our hands to protect us and others. Today we're going to learn the proper way that we need to wash our hands. These are just some ways that we can protect ourselves and others from getting coronavirus. What are some ways that you and your family protect yourselves? Let me hear about it. 